Hey there, this is Vince with Article Marketing Robot. In this video, I want to show you how to use contextual linking with your articles. Um, so in order to do that, I have to first create an article. So I'll just uh, use my Article Builder API and uh, get one made up here. I'm gonna use the fitness niche. I'm gonna make it 700 words. I only want one article and I'm gonna use my fitness uh, resource profile. Now, how to use all that stuff that I just went through is explained in other videos. You can find all that stuff on my YouTube channel. My YouTube account name is Article Robot. So anyways, here we are. Here's my uh, fitness um, article that I just created. And it's got 698 words and it pulled my resource box. And if you can read that in the video, I try to be humorous about it. So anyways, um, we're gonna go over contextual links. Now, first of all, Contextual links only applies to WordPress sites. It doesn't apply to any other webs, uh, any other directory type uh, so far that's inside of Article Marketing Robot. Um, second of all, um, some people would argue that, well, you could just place a link anywhere within your article um, and that would be in context. Well, yes, that is true, but the, art, the, the link would um, be in the same spot every time. Uh, so the purpose of contextual links is to randomly place a uh, link for whatever keyword you're trying to target. So I'm going to go into the contextual links tab here. Um, so there's some things that I've done in the past, but what um, I'm going to show you here is how to create a contextual link and how to use it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually click the add link profile and that's going to come up with this box. Uh, you got your keywords and you got your URLs. It's pretty basic. You put your keywords one per line and your URLs one per line. So for this keyword, I'm targeting fitness. Actually, I haven't even read the article, but uh, I'll just try and find some other words that might be in the article. Um, and you can use um, you know single words, two words, three words. It doesn't matter. So whatever keyword you want to target, you'll put in the keyword section. Activity is probably one. Now normally you would only use one URL because if you're submitting an article to promote a website, you're only gonna have one URL. But if you want, you can also put uh, multiple URLs. This is also handy if you have like, you know, a live links report that you wanna put in there. And it's totally up to you on how you wanna use it. So I'm just gonna create a fake donate, domain. Actually, you know what? I'll use a domain that I uh, put in my resource box. So there we go. We got fitness, physical activity, and there's there's the URL. I'm going to click OK, and it's going to save it. So you can see it got saved. It's uh, point number six. Uh, so there's the keywords has one link. Now, if you don't want it, you can either delete it or edit it. Um, editing it will obviously bring you back here. It's going to cancel all that. So the next thing you're going to have to do is actually check that you want to use it. You can also have other key, keyword uh, contextual link profiles set up and uh, this list will span across all your articles so you just have to pick and choose which ones you want to use. So I, I've got my fitness one set up. Now the next thing you're going to have to select is randomly insert. So let's say you had two keywords you wanted to target and you wanted two keywords in the, in, you know, in the article body or in other words two contextual links created. You would select two, right? Now in, the most, in most cases um, directories don't allow more than two and if you're going to append your resource box you're only going to want to select one and I'll go over what that is now so the append re resource box only applies to WordPress sites it does not affect any other article directory in article marketing robot now what happens is is if this is not checked this portion of the resource box will not be appended to the bottom of the body when it's submitting a article to the WordPress site. Um, basically, it will only do a contextual link. If it is uh, clicked, then it will, one, create a contextual link. Uh, basically, it will insert how many links you want, and then it will append the resource box. So to show you how this works, I'm just going to uh, click the preview button. So you'll see now you've got this fitness, this in, in content link that was created and also down here you have the resource box. I'm going to go back to the software and this time I'm going to uncheck the append resource box and click preview. 
Now, somewhere in here, you got fitness again, right? Uh, your fitness goals, oops, your fitness goals and uh, overall fitness level. So now you can see that fitness was chosen. Um, it's totally random. So if it shows up twice, it's just based on whatever random number it picked. But it also picks a random location to put that link. So it's completely random and completely contextual. So um, what else do I want to show you? Oh yeah, the resource box. So you're going to get this message here. You've chosen not to include the resource for this article. This, this only applies to WordPress directories. Again, um, the resource box will be included in other article platforms like article friendly, article dashboard, etc. So keep that in mind. Um, let's just go back to it. So append resource. I'm going to have that checked. I'm going to preview again. And this time fitness is down here. So another thing that you can do to um, increase the, uh, well, I might not even have physical activity in my, in my keywords, but let's just take a look here. Uh, where's my window? There it is. For example, if I wanted to use movement and I wanted to make that a more primary keyword, put it in there like three times, you know, that way it gives it more weight. And since this is all random, it will be chosen on a higher, more common, um, you know, it, it'll be it'll be chosen more common. So if I hit preview, you'll see that movement was selected. And if I preview again, you'll see that fitness was selected. Preview again, and movement was selected. So maybe maybe my other two keywords don't even exist. See, I, I didn't actually um, read the article. So you know, obviously you're, you're going to know better than what I'm doing here. You'll, you'll be much more familiar with your article because either you read it, you wrote it, or I think you're doing what I'm doing, which is completely random. Uh, I think I wanted to show you something else. What was it? Oh, right. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was the multiple keywords. <clears throat> so I selected two. If you hit preview, you'll see now that you have fitness and movement selected. One thing you need to note is that if you have your keyword in your resource box and it is also in your contextual link, it may not be selected. So sometimes you might only get one, one, uh, one keyword showing. Basically, the way I programmed it was so that it's not going to, it'll attempt to do its best to not, you know, put the same anchor text in the article body, or it won't, it won't choose the same anchor text twice. Um, so I hope that all makes sense. That's contextual linking explained, and that's how it works. It's, it's actually really powerful for in-context linking and it works extremely well. Great, so thank you for watching the video. Uh, take care, bye.